What's up guys? A few things are changing. First of all, the weather is pretty horrific today, so I'm inside with the lights on. So I apologize if the lighting's not great. It's gonna be a super uh, simple vlog where I just wanted to share kind of somewhat garage update with you guys. As you know, I have the Audi R8 V10 Plus and the Ferrari 430 Scuderia. I mean, I say as you know, if you're new to the channel, then you don't have a Scooby about it, but there you go, now you know. And a few things are gonna be changing in those cars. So it's not really a garage update so much in terms of changing the cars. I'm happy with both cars right now. The Ford GT is on the way, so there's plenty of stuff happening there, but there have been changes that I've made to both cars or that I'm going to make to both cars. So let's start with the R8 and let's start with this box which arrived, which was a present actually. So this is something I've been wanting for a really, really long time. Um, and that Zen Rage, the guys who made my exhaust, got for me. So it's not just a box. In the box, there are these. These are carbon fiber exhaust tips. Really, really, really well done. Beautiful carbon weave. You see the Zen Rage uh, logo right there. And this I just thought was a really classy uh, move from them where I know that they knew I was looking into this option and decided, you know, you can't get every single little modification for the car, you know, there's, you have to respect the budget at some point. So they sent me these as a gift, which I really appreciate. So of course I'm gonna put their links down in the description as a thank you. And I'd you know, appreciate it if you guys go check them out. But really, really cool. And the size of these things, they are absolutely, now they need a little bit of a clean. There's a few marks, but that's just uh, from the shipping. Um, the size of them are huge. They're the same size as the exhaust I've already got on the R8 now, but just slightly different with the carbon. Um, so they've done, yeah, they've done a really, really good job with that. So huge thank you to them. Those are gonna go on the car very soon, but they're gonna go on the car at the same time as something else, which I'm equally as excited about, which we need to go pick up because it's at the post office. So let's get the car. Bonjour, monsieur. Speaking of the Zen Rage exhaust, listen to this. Beautiful. This is valves closed. Three, two, one. Closed. Open. So yeah, if you watch my Instagram stories, you might know I have a lift in my car park at home. So there we go. Okay, up we go. So a lot of people, you know, ask, why do you put changes on your cars? Why don't you leave them kind of in stock form? Well, I definitely see the appeal of having a fully stock car. There's something kind of so satisfying of having a car which is completely, you know, how you bought it and you never touched it and it's how it left the factory and it's original to itself. I get that a lot, but I personally on my cars, you know, especially this one, which represents kind of the audience and everything, wanted to add my own personal touch. I did that quite a bit on this car already, but I want to do it even further uh, on it with the exhaust, with what we're going to get now, and the rims, which will be going on in the next few weeks, hopefully. I'm just waiting for the tires to arrive. And then also on the Ferrari, a few tiny details. I really haven't changed too much on the Ferrari, but it's little details, which for me at least make a big difference and kind of make the car have this particular look, which I really enjoy. So yeah, I think we're arriving at the post office now. It's around here somewhere. And we're, oh, I'm so excited. Right, now the mission is finding somewhere to park. Okay, we're gonna back it in over here somewhere. Yeah, now, funnily enough, that purple car that was leaving as I came in was my old uh, music teacher from school, which is quite hilarious. Didn't, she didn't recognize me at all, fair play. I mean, probably wasn't that memorable of a music player at school, but uh, quite funny as I arrived here. My old music teacher was just leaving. Right, I don't have a backup camera on this, I've just got the beepers. That feels about right. Okay, let's do this. Now yeah, it. Okay, now there's actually quite a bit more than I thought. So we're going to need to see if this fits to the boot of the car because there's really not a big boot in the R8. Let's give this a go. All right, guys, middle button on the key. Open that up, boom. Okay, so I've got some cleaning stuff in there and a bit of actually the wrap left over. Um, hmm, I think you'll fit. I think we'll be okay. Uh huh. Mm. Okay, maybe not. Uh, how are we gonna do this? Let's put the small one first. Does it fit like this? Okay. Uh, yeah, not very successful. That has not fit. Three boxes don't fit in this car. So, uh, passenger seat it is, I guess. Also, before you go ballistic at me, I know I'm terribly parked. I went in literally for 30 seconds to get the stuff. So I just parked it like this. And I just went right there. Anyway, making up words now. Anywho, let's put it in the passenger seat. Ah, perfect. 
Right, let's go with our new little passenger there. Good thing, good thing I didn't have a passenger with me um, or else this would have been a bit of an issue. Right, I can't wait to get home and show you guys. I'm so excited to open this. Right, we're home and we've still got these out from earlier. Now, this package, we're actually not really gonna be looking at. This is completely different. This is uh, pedals for a simulator, a racing simulator that I'm putting in my room upstairs because I think every car guy has always dreamt of having a racing simulator. But let's get into unboxing this. I don't know what's in what box, and I don't actually really even know why there's two boxes because I ordered one thing. Let's see. So we've got some technical stuff. This comes from SW Custom, um, everything you're about to see. So, oh, I think this is it. I think this is it. We're nearly there. Come on. Oh. A steering wheel for my Audi R8. Look how beautiful this is. Now, it's a little bit dirty because of the uh, transport, but Alcantara with red stitching, Audi R8 steering wheels, so same as mine, all the same buttons, etc. Carbon down here, beautiful carbon, and carbon up here with shifter light and a little screen, which the reason also I really wanted this little screen is because my car's British in miles per hour, and this will be able to give me my speed in kilometers now, which is very convenient. And then yes, elephant in the room, there's no airbag. I imagine that's what's in here. Let's give it a go. Mm. So, still a lot of things to take off of this. We've protected this well, understandably. Whoa. Beautiful. This is really cool. This was actually an extra option to have the sensor airbag done in Alcantara as well. But I thought it would look weird if it wasn't like that. So wait, let me try and place it here without connecting it anything, obviously. Let's see. Boom! It's not connected, obviously, but at least it gives us an idea of what it'll look like. How sick is that compared to the original steering wheel, which I was driving in earlier. Let's see a clip on that now. You know, especially this one, which represents kind of the audience and everything. And back here now. Look at that, so much sicker. Anyway, so this, those are the changes that are coming before the rims actually, and probably tinted windows on the R8. Now, let's go see the Ferrari, and I'll show you changes that have happened to that. And there we go, here it is, the Ferrari. So we've moved on, sorry, we've skipped a little bit. It's actually a, a different day, it's the next day. So uh, yes, I'm dressed a little bit different. Hi, but um, this is the Ferrari. I'm at my parents' house, which if you've been watching this channel for a long time, you know my parents car right here and uh yeah i just wanted to show you around so you've probably seen on instagram um some of the changes that have occurred on this but uh main things you can see from the back these pinstripes were actually done when i put the ppf on the car so yellow pinstripes this is a wrap so it's a film it's not actually painted um on the diffuser so full carbon diffuser it's actually quite dirty it needs a clean full carbon diffuser and to complement that um it looked a bit odd before when you would stand here and all you had yellow was uh, the diffuser because you couldn't see that the calipers and the logos and stuff were yellow when you're right behind it. So I wanted to add a touch of yellow um, to kind of amplify that yellow and gray theme. So we put these mini stripes around the silver stripes. So this is like light silver, this is darker silver, grigio silver stone, and then little yellow stripes around, and that's actually a wrap as well. That goes all the way on the roof and then down on the front bonnet as well. And then last but not least, then what happened is the 430 Scuderia logo was red, the 430 part. And so we decided that that had to change because or else it wasn't uniform with the car. So this was actually hand painted and took like a bunch of hours to do and looks really, really, really good. So this we couldn't, you know, I thought not worth doing as a wrap. It will just look messy. So I actually hand painted. And then if ever I want to put it back to original, we can hand paint it back to red. Oh, and then the lights completely blacked out. Now I know a lot of people will be saying, why didn't you leave, you know, like the center, the white part unwrapped. That's because um, the reverse first light was white and then the indicators were orange so it would have looked weird to have black with white and then black with orange so I just decided to tint the whole thing um, which is harder to do than you'd think because you need to actually take the whole light out and it's quite a complicated shape so apparently that was a bit of a nightmare and then that is pretty much it I mean it's still got the super tinted windows and the tinted front lights which actually look cool but also serve a purpose because in these older Ferraris 
and you probably can't see it, but you get crackling through humidity on the um, on the headlights. And it looked really, well, bad, to be honest, um, before the lights were tinted. And you would really notice it. And it's A, super expensive, I think four and a half thousand euros per light to replace. So 9,000 euros to replace. And then it will just, you know, the guy at the Ferrari shop said it would just come back anyways after um, a couple of months. So kind of pointless to replace the lights. But now with the tinted lights, you can't see the crackling at all and they look brand new so that was a cheap fix to what could have been an expensive problem and then obviously that stripe which goes down so yeah i much prefer the stripe this stripe the colored stripe from the back i think it looks really cool from the front definitely maybe a bit less classy than it was before um but yeah i mean it makes the car super recognizable very particular spec and obviously the yellow is really nice because it's uh, massively complemented on the interior with all of the yellow stitching so the car has the full kind of gray and yellow theme going on um which i'm a big big fan of anyways let me put you in wide angle and then we can turn the camera around and uh yeah thank you for watching guys i mean we're going to end it there there was as you can see just basically an update on here's what i've changed on the cars recently a bunch of little changes but that i think make a big difference uh on both this and then the r8 you know we haven't seen it with all the changes yet but at least you know what's coming and that will all be done very very soon so thanks for watching guys it's an absolute pleasure i hope you enjoyed this you know very kind of back to basics video but i enjoy these and uh i look forward to seeing you again very very soon cheers bye, -bye.